Welcome back. This is Part-Time Guardian. Again, it's a very exciting time to be a Destiny fan right now. Uh, lots of really great content coming out, and, which we'll be talking about over the next couple weeks. Again, as normal, if you like this video and appreciate it and it brings value to you, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the new Contact Public event that's in Season of the Arrivals. And again, it's, it's a really fun event. You know, Bungie's kind of played around with different events over the, the different seasons. Some have been good, some have been bad. This one I actually enjoy quite a bit. Um, I'm going to try to keep this video short and just get to the point and talk about some of the key things you need to do to be successful at this event. So first off, this is a 1020 recommended power event. Now that doesn't mean you have to be a 1020, but if you're lower than that, it will be a little bit more uh, difficult to do. Again, if you have more people, maybe it's not a problem. The event is composed of waves of enemies that will come at you, kind of like what happened with the Sarah Towers in the previous event, but in this case, there's a Gambit Bank in the middle. And knowing that it's Gambit, you know what the objectives are. Kill enemies and bank those moats. Again, with the moats, you can bank up to 10. Again, it's very similar to what happens in Garden of Salvation. The more moats you do at once, the more progress. So you don't want to just take one moat and take it to the bank. The more you do, the more and quicker you'll make progress. After completing a round, a group of Taken will appear. The bank will get uh, shut down, similar to what happens in Gambit, for a short time, and they will block the bank. You'll need to kill them, and pretty quickly, because you don't have a lot of time to do that. Once you do that, you will advance the next round. You have to do this a total of four times to get to the boss. To kill the boss, the event is over. But wait, is there more? Of course there's more, it's a public event. So the other thing that you could do is make it heroic. Now, the heroic version is a 1040 event. So again, it's a little bit more difficult. If you have more people in the event, you'll be able to get through a little bit quicker. Once per round, so you do everything else that you did before. But once per round, a bloom will spawn. It's like a little yellow ball. And you'll be able to see it because there'll be an area that looks like it's a beam of light that's coming from the sky. And it's protected by champions. Now, the champions are just like what you would use in a nightfall or other events. You could be a barrier, an unstoppable, or an overload. So you have to keep that in mind. You kill the champion, and then you take the bloom to the bank, and you bank it just like you do a normal mode. A powerful enemy will actually spawn from time to time and attempt to take the bloom. And it'll show up on the screen. It'll say, such and such is trying to take the bloom. Make sure you're paying attention to that, because that could actually take you backwards. Do this four times, and the event becomes heroic. And as in the non-heroic version, you, you kill an enemy in the middle, large boss, and that's how you complete it. There is a little bit of a catch, though. There will be blights that are similar to the blighted public event that you see on many planets. Basically, it's a blight that you have to go in and shoot the middle to be able to knock it out. While those are up, they will shield the boss and prevent you from taking damage. Again, it's very similar in Gambit Prime, where you have the different phases where for a period of time you can kill and damage the boss and then there's times where you can't well this is very similar except in this case it'll be done by these blights so make sure you take those down in order to complete so going into the event especially knowing that you're going to be underpowered potentially what things work well so think about it as a combination of gambit with a nightfall gambit is you're going to be killing a lot of ads and in the nightfall uh, portion if you want to do heroic that's where you have to deal with the champions so i would take things that you like to use in those i think swords work really well roaming supers work really well and then anything that just kills a bunch of ads very quickly and that's it guardians that's the entire event again it's a it's a fun grind it allows you to get different weapons and armor um, i think they've done a decent job of implementing we'll see what people think of it long term uh, if you like this video again i always appreciate the support uh, if you'd like to jump into the comments and talk about the video, talk about what you'd like to see next, also feel free to subscribe to the channel. That helps me out a great deal. Hope this video was valuable, and I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower.